All right, hey, Josh here at a Columbia Company out here in Tiffin, Ohio, here with property owner Ian. And check this out here, a 22 by 48 carriage barn in process. And Ian's gonna go over what they're doing, him and his wife, Kathleen, what they're doing right here in town. All right, so Ian, go ahead and take it away there. Yeah, we're in Tiffin and we're building a garage apartment loft. Um, the new thing in town is like barn dominium. And uh, the reason we went to for this barn dominium style versus a stick built is its longevity, um, its sturdiness, um, its ability to withstand over the years. It's gonna be metal siding, metal roof. Um, we've got all kinds of highlighted details such as Azac trim, which is this white PVC trim that lasts forever. Uh, the roof, uh, it's got a 50, I think it's a 50 year uh, life on it at least. And we're having snowbirds. Uh, I don't know if you can see that from there. Uh, and uh, guards on there. There's gonna be a cupola, which probably we'll span, uh, look at real quickly on there. Um, the whole top is a thousand square foot apartment. Down below, it's four car garage. Um, and actually what I want to do is do this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's going to be bended trim on the PVC trim with rosettes there. Um, we've got these garage doors going in. We're actually going to be putting the X's on there to save quite a bit of money. Uh, farm lights on there. Um, in this bay over here, we're going to have a car lift. Whoever, our stepson who lives there is going to have a car lift in here. He'll be working on cars and that's his passion. What he does for a living is a master mechanic. And we're gonna be doing projects, our cars, etc. in here. So uh, coming over to here, um, we've got um, nice French doors, both on the bottom and on top here. We're gonna have a uh, pergola slash deck. Uh, so down below it's kind of a, a, an entertaining area. Up on top is going to be a deck area and that's going to come with time. You know with finances that comes in that will come with time. And um, on the back side is going to be a mirror of that. We were able to score uh, all the material uh, when it first pandemic the rates were so low people were kind of remodeling so we were able to get most of this stuff at pennies on the dollar and we've been storing it hoping for this day and it's finally happening um one thing i'd like to highlight uh my neighbor's the manager at uh, lowe's and he constantly comments about the lumber the quality of lumber with what is available out there and what we are getting today is just phenomenal uh straight boards uh minimal you know barking or whatever you want to call it uh the quality is excellent i have not been uh displeased at all uh, i mean it, it, it's it's a phenomenal you can't get this at lowe's at, at all it's not this is kiln dry stuff uh what you get at lowe's right now is all green unkill dry unless you special order it um like i said there's going to be azac trim our roof is a very high pitch roof, but that is what is historical around here. It's a 12, 12 pitch with scissor roofing. So upstairs, there's going to be uh, a 612 interior vaulted ceiling. So uh, that will allow plenty of open space, plenty of open lights. We can do two, uh, what is it? Um, air conditioning units on both sides that will, mini splits they're called, on both sides that will be able to cover the entire unit, 1,000 square feet. We're doing truss uh, joists as opposed to eye joists so that we can run piping through it and have additional weight. Like for example, we could actually have an aquarium in the middle of the room. We can have marble, whatever, in the middle of the room if we want to. Uh, when they told it to us, we can put a Mack truck up there. I mean, that is it, very, very sturdy and there's no center pillars. It is all open. It's 
22, 22? 22 across and there's no support underneath. It's all open. So that's, you know, one major feature with barn dominiums, uh, with you going by the barn style, you can have extra weight without all this extra support. And you, in, the, in the end, you have much less wood. And nowadays, less wood is very desirable with the cost of wood. Any questions for me, Josh? Very true, Ian, very well. Um, well said there, but you kind of get an idea. Let me just step back. I'll go in here and Ian, explain in some rather good detail here, but you can kind of see the cupola right there, and that's a four foot cupola, right? Uh, I think it's a 36. Or maybe three foot cupola, but you can kind of see here, give you some depth perception right here. And we'll have a weather vane on top of it. And then I tell you what, he did so well, but when this is complete, you're gonna see the completed version with his consent, and I think he'll be all right with that. So the guys are, you know, staying after it, and uh, keep following along the journey here at AtticaLumber.com. And until the next one, we'll see you soon. Attica Lumber, since 1925.